welcome back to another video. It's been ages since I filmed. I've actually missed it so much. Um, I think the last one was our HelloFresh video. Um, and I've just been so busy. There's so much uni work I've had to do. There's just lots of things going on behind the scenes. So I apologise for that. But today is our Sunday vlog, which is a very new thing for us. Um, I'm just going to get a drink, so don't mind me. Um, it's a very new thing for my channel. Um, something I want to start doing more of um, in the future. Um, I get, I've got today off, which is very unusual, because at the moment I'm working part-time. So I don't normally get Sundays off, which is the day I normally work at the weekend. Um, and we haven't really had any plans. So it's nice to actually chill and have a day off. And I've got the rest of the week off, so that's good. Um, so anyway, today, I'm just trying to find a glove, um, we are running a few errands this morning and then we're going to town um, to do a bit of shopping and um, we've got to take a couple of things back. Lulu, hey, I can see you. She's being mischievous. Say hello. She doesn't like it. Hey. No. <laughs> um... So yeah, so we're gonna go to town, have a look around uh, Poverty TK Max because their home stuff is just on point. But we're actually moving house in the next like two to three months. So we're looking for some new kind of kitchen, but actually we're looking for a lot of stuff, a lot of kitchen stuff, um, bathroom stuff. But I love that sort of shopping anyway. Alex's not so keen, but- I wanna go. <laughs> But he hasn't got a choice. Um, and we act oh my goodness, we actually went to Home Sense yesterday because I've been dying to go to Home Sense because I haven't been in forever. And um I went to the one in Stafford yesterday. Oh my god, it was humongous and amazing, and they've got so many things in that I want that I can't afford. <sighs> Life. So yeah. But um yeah, so we're probably gonna go to TK Maxx because they've always got nice homeware for homeware stuff. Home my stuff. Um, and then obviously we're gonna pop into Primark because we need to see what anything, if there are any new Disney stuff in at the moment. Um, because how could we not? So you done there making a mess? I'm great at making a mess. <laughs> so yes. So let's go. We're in the car on our way to town. We're just gonna actually no, we don't need to stop anywhere before now, do we? Because we just we can do it all in town now. My jacket is really irritating. It's all over the place. So, <clears throat> we're on our way to town. We're probably going to get something like a shutter drawer. I was going to say no to a Um, Or some sort of bake. Or steak bake. So, you can have a steak bake any time of the day. I could yeah. have a steak bake for breakfast. It's not weird. for breakfast. Well, technically, it's 20 past 11 now. It's still breakfast. So, gravy for breakfast. Uh, 11 is. Help me out here. Eleven is, come on. No. It's just early lunch, guys. Early lunch. For uh, mooch around. And I want a Krispy Kreme. Oh yeah. Should we put some Disney songs on? Disney song as kid. To say that um we couldn't Wish decide you what Merry we Christmas. If I am. Did we? Okay. Have decided <laughs> that um well we couldn't decide that we, what we wanted for tea tonight. So Alex's dad um normally makes these amazing fish cakes. So we thought because we were trying to be a little bit better um because we've eaten a lot of a lot of rubbish recently um and both been a bit ill um we wanted to eat something a little bit healthier. But that also is really good and we always love your dad's cooking, don't we? I mean. If you're watching this, Gareth, you know we love your cooking. <laughs> um, so we're gonna have a go at making his fish cakes tonight. Um, so we're probably gonna like, pop to Tesco or something on the way home and grab some bits for that. So yeah, that'll be fun, watching us attempt to make fish cakes. I think we'll smash it, it's just fish and potato and yeah. making it. See, we've said this before about things and it's gone terribly wrong. Only with you making lasagna. Yeah, I can't make lasagna. <laughs> I don't know what's so difficult about it. It's not. Just... It's not difficult. It's just you. <laughs> You're the problem. I know, yeah. I'm always the problem. Get that ticket, honey. I won! 
<laughs> Why was that so loud? <laughs> the other way. Okay. So just done some of our errands. Um, and now we're gonna go get some drink because I'm starving. Oh my god, pigeons. Oh. Um, because we're starving, aren't we? I am hungry. So let's get some num nums. So we just grabbed something to eat, didn't we? And a steak bake. And you got a chicken bake. And now we're just in Primark shopping. Yeah. So we've just come to the Disney section and they've got some pins. And they've got the good backs on as well. They're only three pound. And they're all stitch ones. Cute. I can't get them down. It makes noises. And they've got a musical stitch. That is so cute. They haven't got a lot of new stuff, but it's all stitch. These little <clears throat> they are. These cute little things, cute cute tops. Guys, we found more Disney stuff. That bag is adorable. Look at the patches. Oh my goodness. <gasps> These trainers. Yes. By the way, I already have this bag and I'm saving it for my next Florida holiday. Yes. So I just stopped off for the holidays, haven't you, Ryan? Which is sad. But none of them are Florida, which is not right. We will. We will we'll go back to you. We'll go holiday. <laughs> he doesn't want to leave. <laughs> Come on. Part ways. Part ways, honey. So I've got a few goodies from Primark. Are you still showing off? Yeah, I'm still showing. <laughs> I've got a few goodies from Primark, which I'll show you when we get home. But I, they, they, they moved the Disney stuff again upstairs. <clears throat> so I didn't see it at first. It was all stitch stuff. Not it's, happy, Primark. It's to keep you on Not your happy. toes. But they had a few new things, so it's all exciting. We always look at these Disney ornaments because we want all of them. <gasps> look at the Lion King one. I got this one for Alad. Where is it? There. I got this one for Alad for Christmas. Look at those ones. I want all of them. You're dancing. <laughs> really dancing this right, boys and girls. We're done in town. We had a little, we had a little snack, which was very nice. How much cheese cross home? That's all. Um, so that was really good. Um, we have got a few bits, we've done our errands, so we're now going to Tesco. Oh, the camera's gone lopsided. We're now going to Tesco um, and getting a few shopping bits, getting tea, that sort of thing. And then I'm going to go back home, chill. Show you what we bought. And we'll show you what we bought. Bit of Primark, I actually have been very good and I didn't go all out, guys. Didn't go all out. I got a few little bits, bits I actually needed, so we'll show them when we get home. Hi, Loopy! Are you happy we're home? Are you happy we're home? So, a thing about Lulu, for a fun fact for everyone, is that every time we give her any sort of treats when we leave the house, she doesn't eat them and she saves them for when we come home and parades them in front of us. Yes and shows off to say, look what I've got, look what I've got. You know what you've got, so much money going to see me You silly pooch. <sighs> okay, we're officially shopped out now. We've got home, we're just making a mess. Making noise. <laughs> we're just um, taking all the rest of stuff out that we bought today. Um, Pops Tesco, as you saw, so, to get tea and everything. So, we were one of them. Uh, really? we, yeah, well, it's nearly quarter past four, so we had about 10, 15 minutes spare when we when we left. Which the obviously... Shop's closing in 15 minutes. Get out. Yeah, exactly. You're yeah, one of those people. Obviously, we told you we're going to make our... Uh, we didn't say. Red. Um, we're going to make um, fish cakes. Um, but we also decided because I don't know why, I think it was my idea and I just thought it was a great idea um, that we're going to actually have a go at making the Mickey Rice Krispie treats 
that you can get at Disney World. If you have seen our one of my other videos, we did go to Disney World last year. Um and we are planning a trip at some point, but we haven't booked it or anything yet. We're just still kind of in the middle of saving, sorting it out, all that sort of jazz. But in the meantime, while we wait, um we are going to try and make these treats for you guys today. Woohoo! Probably go terribly wrong. No, it? Well, it's just Rice Krispies, marshmallow and chocolate. I mean, if it doesn't turn out like an actual Rice Krispie treat bar, we're just going to eat the mix anyway. <laughs> so it can't be too bad, surely. Can't be that bad. Anyway, put the camera away now. Put things away. <laughs> oh my god, put the kettle on! I just got home. Always have to put the kettle on. So I just put all my bits up to... Ooh. Oh, whacking my hair over there. And I just bought all my bits upstairs to show you. Um, I didn't show you what I bought, got yesterday. We went shopping yesterday. Um, I got this. This um, <clears throat> kind of, I don't know what it's called. Like a storage, beauty storage thing um, from B&M. And I needed one for ages because of my beauty table. Um, I've got no storage and I've got a drawer, which I'm sorry, is full of rubbish um which is everything is just kind of loose in here and i really want to get some sort of trays or storage but i need to measure this because don't know what size to get and i don't want to obviously get anything too big or too small that'll go in here but a huge drawer I and mean, then all of my side space here i saw this in um b m yesterday and it was only like 199 and i thought it was perfect for putting all like, my bits of makeup in so I was kind of, I'm not sure if I want to keep it like this at the moment. Uh, but I put all kind of like my main makeup bits in here just to see if I like it. And I quite like it actually. I don't know if it's a bit too messy on here. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I put my brushes on one side. I've then got my eyeliners, mascaras, eyeshadows in the middle, um, eyebrow pencils and that sort of thing. Um, shadow, eyeshadow brushes. Um, and then I've got like lipsticks here. So yeah, quite like it. Um, I do need some more though. I want some more pots to go on my table. But I think it looks quite nice. So let me let me know what you think in the comments below. So I'll go through all of my toiletry bits first. Um, after town we went to Tesco. Um, and I needed a couple of things. So I'll just show you those. Just little miscellaneous bits. So first of all, I desperately needed a... Some... Like... Uh, brush washer thing because my brushes are disgusting so I'll show you those um so I got this uh baby oil because I have seen other people using baby oil to wash uh, makeup brushes with so I got that so it's like a it's one just one from Tesco their own brand I think it was like 175 but it's quite a big bottle and that might last me a while um I was desperate in desperate need of a new moisturizer and I always have simple because i have eczema and sensitive skin so simple is really good for my type of skin um so this was about two pound for this little moisturizer and i swear by it honestly i swear by it <laughs> um i needed a new box of tissues for my beauty table um so this is just like a pound i think from tesco again so it's just a nice little thing to keep on the side and then just a boring thing um uh, hand soap for the bathroom because we needed a new one that was only about a pound on to the best things oh oh by the way guys i didn't tell you look what friend is sitting next to me we went to see dumbo last friday not friday just gone on before when it first came out and then we went to the Disney store the next day in uh, Merry Hill and i saw him and i was like oh my goodness i want him so much so we had him He's so cute. First, um, obviously with the intent of, uh, with the intent of getting a makeup brush cleaner, I went to Primark and I found because I knew they had some. I just didn't know what ones they had. A handheld brush cleaner. It was only two pound, and it's one you can like put on your hand. It's got a handle at the back. And you just kind of wash your brushes on there, so that's quite easy. I got some scrunchies because. I wanted some scrunchies for ages, uh, just some black ones, because every time I put my hair in a bun, all like bits of hair falls out, um, and yeah, it's just a bit annoying really. So I thought I'd get some, just some black ones, they're only a pound. Also got, as you saw earlier, 
was these pins. I absolutely love these. I've got quite a big pin collection as it is anyway. Um, but obviously I do want to keep collecting more because it's something that we really like doing. And then we saw these and I was like, oh, I might have to have those to add to the collection. Um, and they're only three pound, which I think is quite good for six. And they've got the good uh, backs on them, which uh, stop them from falling off. Because the only trouble I found with the Disney ones, the kind of rubber uh, Mickey backs, is they fall off really easily, especially if you put them on any sort of clothes or anything. These are really sweet, so yes. I found this little cute notebook with like a cactus on it. It's got googly eyes. I thought it was really cute. Um, I just need like a little notebook just to kind of write to do lists down, shopping lists, that sort of thing. And I thought that was really sweet. That was only about £1.50. At the stationery section, there was loads of like reduced things. And I saw these Mickey uh, sticky notes. Um, and I thought they were too cute. So I got those. They're originally £2 down to £1. So I thought for a pound, you can't go wrong. So those are my little bits from Primark. Um, so while we were out, obviously I had had some things to take back. Uh, we had some errands to run and whatever. I had... <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking. Don't judge me. <laughs> But this is just Alid to a T. Anyone that knows him will think, yeah, that just sounds like Alid. Basically, his iPad that he got um, a few months ago has kind of had some issues. Um, so they were kindly, they were really nice and they uh, just basically refunded it. But because he bought it in vouchers, he just received vouchers back again. Um, so, we, so we basically bought a laptop instead because he didn't want the same issue to kind of come back which i think is a problem with um ipads i think um so yeah so he got a a laptop which will do what he wants it to do which obviously is good for you isn't it yeah it's gaming wants it to do everything i want to do but also <laughs> we had some money well there was some uh money left over on the vouchers and i thought okay no save it because there might be something that you want to get in the future that is not available now no i want to spend it i want to spend it like, oh, okay so he looks around and he's been looking at reviews online and decides yeah i'm gonna get a hoover i was like oh we've already got a hoover oh no no no, no. this isn't any ordinary hoover this is a robot hoover it's our version of Wally. Yeah, so we've named it Wally, basically. <laughs> um, and it's supposed to be really, really, really good. And worth up to about £800. So it's actually quite big as well. I didn't think it was going to be that big. Um, oh. <laughs> you need to leave it then, don't you? Well, how do you know when it's charged? So, boys and girls, I'm gonna put the kettle on because I'm in desperate need of a cup of tea. It is very dark in here, let's put the light on. So we didn't really find a lot in town for our house. Um, in all fairness, we are, we don't want to get too much because we're not really gonna have anywhere to put it. Um, so, yeah. Which was a great angle. So, I'm um, sorry, I keep sniffing. I, I think I've got a cold. Ad has been having a cold and he's been really blocked up and I think he's passed it on to me. So. Yeah. Got my cup of tea. This mug I got last weekend um last saturday um from mary hill so when i got my dumbo i got this at the same time it's aladdin it was on offer if it was like oh i think it's about 12 dollars down to six it's dollar Ugh. it's in america <laughs> 12 pound down to six pound so it's got the genie um on the front and then it kind of just has a theme. I can't turn it around. It has the theme all the way around. And it has like the little lamp on the handle, which is mega cute. Maybe a cup of tea. We're going to chill. Oh, I need to show our puzzle, guys. Basically, since um, our last holiday to Florida last year, we bought a <clears throat> Disney puzzle. Um, and we basically been doing it ever since. Um, so 
It's a, I can't remember how big it is now. It is a thousand piece puzzle. Um, it is a Disney Parks Thomas Kincaid puzzle. We actually got this one from, uh, there was like a new toy store in Disney Springs. And I think it was like our last day and we had some dollars to spend. And I think we got some few pins at the same time. And then we saw this because we saw, actually saw this piece of artwork in Magic Kingdom in the art shop um, at like the beginning of the holiday. And we absolutely fell in love with it. And it was like over a grand. So we we're like, okay, no way can we afford that. But we saw the exact same artwork in this puzzle. And we were like, for $25? Yes, please. So we thought we could frame it and just claim it to be <laughs> a natural painting. <laughs> so this is the puzzle. It's a thousand pieces and it is a painting of the Magic Kingdom with the castle in the background and some people around it. But it's really pretty, but it's so hard. Explain to everyone how hard the puzzle is. On a scale of one to hard. Yeah. It is, it's, it's hard. Hard, like a solid. Solid hard. <laughs> uh, it's Solid hard. Hard and hard. It's like hard, hard. Okay. So this is what it looks like at the moment. We've got the main bits of the castle and the edges. Um, it's just the bits in between. Like these parts are all fireworks, which are like the most difficult because they all look exactly the same. <laughs> but I mean, we're not having fun. We just want it to be finished now. <laughs> so the Hooper development is quite interesting. Lily doesn't like it. That might be an issue. <laughs> it's quite loud, but it is really good. <laughs> you can't help but watch it either. We've got Tim Tucker on. Lately, we've been watching so much Disney that we probably shouldn't because it's making us miss Disney slash Universal quite a lot. Nice. That's a nice view. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Lovely. So, we're about to make our Mickey Rice Krispie Treats. I'm so excited for this. Are you excited? Of course I'm excited. Yes! We had them so much when we were in Disney last year. We loved them. I think we had them both years that we went, didn't we? Massive and cost uh, like five dollars. Yeah, and they're amazing. So we thought we'd have a go at making them ourselves. So we've got good old M&Ms. We got the bigger pack because there was more value and it was just cheaper to get that. So cooking chocolate to cover half of the um, Mickey Brash Whippy thing. Um, some marshmallows and some Rice Krispies. So we have no idea how this is going to go because uh, we've never really made anything like this before. Um, normally our baking is not too bad, is it? It's been known to be okay. Woohoo! Oh, by the way, we haven't got any sort of Mickey cutters. So we're just gonna have to make the shapes ourselves. That'll be fun. That shouldn't be too bad, though, should it? I mean, it's just. Yeah, you say it not too bad. I can see it being absolutely terrible. Yeah, uh, if not, they might just be blobs. But that'll do. Thinking of the treats. That's a um, <laughs> um, Of these fish cakes, they look pretty damn good. These are the cooked ones. We just put them in the deep fat fryer. And these are the ones. These are the ones we prepared earlier, Alad. Uh huh. Bit of blue pizza there. Get it? Anyway, these are the ones we prepared earlier. <laughs> that will go also to the fryer. Um, and then we got some sweet potatoes in the oven. Yummy. So we just had tea, it was so good, so good, um, very tasty and we've got some leftover 
Put in the freezer. Mm -hmm. So, but we've got loads of washing up to do, which obviously is rubbish. But before that, my lovely. Crumbling up, isn't it? Uh, oh my god, it's as big as my head. Let me go for it. Ready? <laughs> that wasn't a good bit to bite. There was no chocolate or MMs on it. You're dropping that into my neck. You're big whim. That's how you do it. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Finish on that here. Eating our rice crispy Mickey. Oh, what? Oh, I nearly forgot. Alan, ready? <laughs> it's the festival of fantasy. No? No? You got Magic, Euro Magic Kingdom. You're not crying enough if you imagine you're at Magic Kingdom. Oh. <laughs> Fantasy. <clears throat> we got Magic Europe. Disney World. I need that. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to leave this vlog here. Really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I mean, we've enjoyed filming today. It's been a nice day. It's probably going to be really boring because we've been shopping and eating and all sorts today. <laughs> um but if you did like this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one so until next time see you later uh. <laughs> bye